When winter turns to spring, Iowans emerge. And for about six months, relish the opportunity to buy fresh Iowa ingredients at the many local farmers markets in the state. We're one of the largest uh, per capita states in farmers markets. We have them scattered all around the state. I think there's something very natural in Iowa about farmers markets. Many of us grew up with our own families having gardens and, and maybe aren't able to do that now. Um, but we still want to be able to access local foods. We want to be able to look in the face of someone who's producing that food. And so I think it's a very natural thing for us. And frankly, when spring comes, everybody's ready to go out and get some of that fresh food again. And so we have this natural seasonal aspect to wanting to go to markets as well. There are between 220 and 230 farmers markets in Iowa. The biggest ones are in Des Moines, Cedar Rapids, Sioux City, Davenport, and Waterloo. One of the nice things about each market is they're all different, and they have their own local market manager. Um, and, and rather than a state agency telling them what to do or some big, massive state plan, they each develop for their own reasons, for their own locales, for the folks that, that are at that market, for the locals. The downtown Des Moines market has 300 vendors on its list and rotates producers in depending on their seasonal products. It's the oldest and largest farmer's market in the state. The downtown farmer's market started in 1976 and um, with about a handful of vendors, local growers, almost 40 years later, we've grown it to 13 city blocks and crowds that are um, an average of 20,000 but have peaked to 40,000 on, on any given Saturday. We're really proud of that and we have done things over the years to grow and expand and create more space within our market. Locally grown food is the focus of the downtown Des Moines Farmers Market, and growers come from all over the state to be a part of it. But you can also find a wide variety of non-food products and entertainment. And it's that basic foundation of consumers interacting with farmers that makes an atmosphere like this so special. There's a lot of conversations. There's a, there's a social aspect to it as well. And many f markets have some food or some coffee or other kinds of things that are there. Um, but the conversations that are happening between vendors and purchasers are a big part of what draw folks to the market. Even the stories that you can tell that are going to be retold at the dinner table when somebody delivers those carrots to their family, um, and they're going to retell that story about that farmer and, and why they use that variety of carrot and, and what they went into and how long they've been producing. So there's a cultural aspect that is very important to farmers markets too. Knowing where your food comes from is very important and I sense that people have really jumped on that bandwagon and decided that it's they, they agree with that, that it's, it's a very true statement. And so meeting the farmer that's growing the food that you're going to provide to your family has become something over the 13 years that I've been um, director of the market is something that people are really asking more and more every single year. Another question Iowans might be asking is, where can I find my nearest farmer's market? Well, the Iowa Ag Department developed a free app for that. Pretty handy for technology-loving folks on the go. Whether consumers spend $1 or $100 at their local farmer's market, these fresh air events have an economic impact. We have farmers that are making their living through farmer's markets. Now, it's not a huge part of Iowa agriculture. We have about $38 million in sales in our last survey many years ago. 2009 was our last survey. Um, and so that's not a big part of a $30 billion agriculture industry. But definitely to some families, this is the bulk of their income. If they're able to sell directly to the consumer, they're able to get a little bit more money than if they were to sell that product wholesale. A lot less overhead and a lot more of the money 
comes back to the farmer. So it is advantageous for growers and for local businesses to participate in a farmer's market, um, but it's really hard work. As Iowa's farmers' markets continue to grow in small towns as well as big cities, the tradition of growing and eating local foods is being passed down from the older generation to the younger folks. And the health benefits of eating fresh produce, the economic benefits of direct sales, and the relationships forged help to make Iowa an even better place to live.